My name is Zoe Comerford and I'm a junior in the Dietrich College of Communication, double majoring in Journalism and Digital Media with a minor in Spanish for the business professions. If you recognize my name, it's because I applied for the Pete and Bonnie Axtell Memorial Scholarship last year as a sophomore. However, I believe that the improvements I've made over the past year with my writing and broadcasting skills that I will talk about in the coming minutes have transformed me into an excellent candidate to receive this award. A lot of my background is the same, so I'll just do a brief summary and won't get into all the detail that I had in the last video. My introduction into sports journalism was pretty special, and I would say it all started when I was six years old and watched Chicago Bears football every Sunday with my parents and grandparents. Even back then, I loved trying to call the plays and figure out the penalties even before the refs. I could have never imagined 13 years later I would be working alongside Jarrett Payton, son of Walter Payton, a player I idolized growing up. I remember when I was little, I always said my goal was to become the quarterback for the Chicago Bears. I was a huge tomboy, so every time my friends played with dolls, I wanted to grab a basketball and shoot hoops or take out a football to play catch. When I was little, I tried almost every sport there was. I started out with soccer, then moved to softball, did swim team, ran cross country and track and field in junior high, and played tennis in high school. It's weird that I never played basketball or volleyball because now they're my favorite sports to broadcast. All that sports experience, along with my dad being a tennis coach, helped influence me to choose sports journalism when I committed to Marquette. Before I even stepped on campus, though, I was involved in our student media, the Marquette Wire, as the youngest sports reporter. I began covering men's and women's tennis, and then last year and first semester of this year, when I was assistant sports editor, I covered women's volleyball and men's and women's basketball and women's lacrosse. Since the last time I applied for this award, so much has changed for me, which most importantly began with my promotion within the Wire. In December, I was named the executive sports editor, which means I now oversee the entire sports desk from creating and designing weekly trip content, executive producing live MUTV broadcasts for lacrosse, overseeing radio broadcasts and our weekly sports show Golden Eagle Sports Report, and also contributing to the Semesterly Journal. Having taken on this new role, I have become a more organized, patient, and well-rounded person and leader. Yes, there have been challenges being one of the first, if not the first, female executive sports editor, but I couldn't imagine myself doing anything else. I embrace my diversity and how I'm not only a woman, but also Asian, because I hope that I'm showing people with hard work you can achieve anything you put your mind to. Another thing that is different from last year is over the summer I had my first sports internship. I was WGN's last production intern and I was able to get connected with WGN through Len Casper, the play-by-play -play announcer for the Cubs, who was my mentor last year in the university mentorship program Marquette Mentors. My internship was mostly focused on sports, but I did learn from the directors, producers, technical directors, and floor directors. That was crucial for me to understand everything that goes in behind the scenes and what production has to do to make our shows look and sound good. Not only was I able to learn from Len and Jim Deshays from the Cubs and Jason Benetti and Steve Stone from the White Sox, I was also able to work closely with Jarrett Payton and Lauren Majera, who are two sports anchors for WGN. From shadowing all of them and being able to connect with some other anchors from the evening news, I gained valuable knowledge that I can use when I get out into the professional world. Additionally, I was a runner for ABC7 Cubs games last summer, and through that experience, I was able to learn from the best in the business, like Len and JD, and also get connected with Dion Miller from ABC7. I also discovered there's a lot more to successful broadcast than what meets the eye. From the quality work I did with ABC7, my name was given to the people in Milwaukee, and now I have been a runner for the Milwaukee Bucks games for NextVR, Fox Sports, and NBA on TNT. I worked the Bucks Lakers game back in December, which was one of the best experiences I've had in sports. I also am working ESPN Wednesday for a Bucks game and then the Cubs vs. Brewers season opener in March, so my experience not only in front of the camera but behind it has greatly developed. I know last year at the Axel Award ceremony I had been told I should make a website for when I applied next year so it would be easier to see all my work from anchoring, being an analyst, broadcasting, and writing feature stories. I have done so and if you go to zoecomerford.com you will find my whole portfolio. Anyway, I believe that I am the perfect candidate to win the 2020 Pete and Ax Bonnie Axel Memorial Scholarship because of my commitment to sports journalism, especially here at Marquette and in student media, and also the qualities I possess, determination, a strong work ethic, resilience, kindness, and leadership. Thank you for your consideration.